Welcome, welcome. So for class today, we're going to use blocks and a strap. So you can just grab those and have them nearby. Books are a great substitute for uh, blocks. And a towel or a belt is a really great substitute for a strap. You know, just something that feels like it can make it easier for you to hold uh, your foot with keeping the arms and the legs straight without stressing too much your body. Um, and we're gonna actually start off on our backs today. So you can lay down on your back when you're ready to. Now, as you lay down, have the strap and the blocks nearby because you might want them to lift the floor and to ease up. And you're just gonna get comfortable on the floor in any way that feels nice for you. I want you to rest your hands down on your abdomen, your belly area. And close the eyes and start to take the breath deeper into the body. Pulling the breath all the way down into the deep belly, pelvic floor area. There's a concept in yoga called Shravana. And Shravana is the, the Sanskrit teaching of learning about the self through listening. And what we're gonna do today is try to focus a bit more on the internal subtle body experience. So keep the breath deep and try to let the abdomen expand as much as you can on your inhale and contract as much as you can on your exhale. And gradually what we're gonna to start to do is play around with moving our internal body. So as you exhale, you can use your hands and just try to push your belly over to the left. And you can inhale, let things come back to neutral and exhale, push the belly over to the right. Do this a few more times on your breath and don't be afraid to get your hands in there. And I want you to notice what it is for you to feel like you're moving your internal space away from center. And then in turn, feel what the return to center is as well. Yeah. Just try one or two more times like that. Now grab your strap, bring your right leg in and loop the strap around your right foot. You're gonna straighten the right leg completely. Your shoulders are totally grounded on the floor and then extend your left leg to be long. So Supta Padangustasana. Just a couple of breaths here, allowing time for the body to adjust to the stretch. And with your right leg lifted, you know, just up at 90 degrees. I want you to lift your left leg a couple of inches and flex your foot. Keep the left leg lifting and the foot flexing as you spin the left leg in at the hip socket, kind of inwardly rotating the leg, almost going pigeon-toed, and then pull that thigh bone up into the hip. 
I want you to keep those alignments to start to press the inseam of the left leg down to the floor, returning it to the ground. And without letting your left leg lose that kind of an engagement, that kind of grounding, hold the strap with your right hand and take the leg out to the right, right leg to the right. Yeah, good job. Bring your left hand to your belly. So keep your bottom leg inwardly grounded. Let the top leg open enough to find a good stretch. Take a big breath down into the belly and as you exhale, move your belly away from your right leg. Try this a few more times. Big breath in, exhale, belly moves away from the right leg to the left. And I want you to notice if this helps you to go a little deeper into the pose. Another breath or two here. And bring the leg back to center. We'll change legs. Left leg in the strap up to the sky, right leg on the floor, holding the strap with both hands for a few moments, allowing for the left leg to adjust to the stretch. And then go ahead and uh, keep hold of the, of the strap and lift your right leg up, flex the foot. Spin the right leg inward at the hip and then plug the thigh bone up into the hip socket. Keep the inward rotation and ground the entire inseam of the right leg, inner thigh, inner knee, inner calf, inner ankle, bringing it to the floor. Hold the strap with your left hand. Take the left leg out to the left, keeping the right leg grounded inwardly. Bring your hand to your belly, take a big breath in. And as you exhale, move your belly to the right, away from the left leg. Try this a few times on your breath. Notice if you can go a little deeper into the opening. And come back to center. Mm. Remove the strap, place it off to the side. Bring both knees into your chest. Give yourself a little moment to hold your shins. Rock and roll a little bit left, right. You can build as much as momentum as you'd like. We're gonna come to a tabletop position next. So if you want to rock and roll the table, go for it. Or you can just <clears throat> slide over to one side or the other. Tabletop cat cow, friends. Few more times, cat cow, following the movement of the breath and feeling out how your body's showing up today, what the inner landscape is of your being. Downward facing dog pose. When you get to down dog, go ahead and bend the right leg at the knee and just press back and down through the left leg couple breaths to stretch it out. Changing sides when you're ready, bending the left knee, straightening the right leg, pressing back and down. Back through center, pedal out the legs evenly. I'm gonna to come to high plank pose. 
take a nice breath in, exhale, down dog. Do that again, breathe in, high plank. Breathe out, down dog. Again, high plank. Down dog, and then let's chaturanga. Breathe in, high plank pose. Breathe out, chaturanga to the floor. Cobra pose, and just hold for a couple of breaths. Just notice what takes you deeper into the pose. What adjustments, what focus. Downward facing dog pose. And then in front of the mat, Uttanasana, forward fold. You can step or jump or whatever. Feels good for you to get there. To breathe in, lengthen your spine. Breathe out, fold. A few times like that, just letting the body receive the pose. The mind receive the body. And the breath blending the two. Kind of come all the way upright to stand. Take your arms to the sky. Inhale. And then as you exhale, hands to heart, navel to spine. Breathe in, take the arms out and up. Surya Namaskar A, let's just flow. Exhale, fold to the floor. Inhale, lengthen, look forward. Exhale, step or hop back down, dog. Breathe in, high plank pose. Breathe out to the floor. Breathe into your back bend. Breathe out to down, dog. Bend one leg at the knee, stretch through the opposite leg, two breaths. Changing the bend, two breaths. Neutral dog, inhaling, looking forward. Exhale, step or jump in front of the mat. Breathe in, lengthen your spine. Breathe out, fold. Inhale all the way up. Exhale, hands to the heart. Inhale up. Exhale, fold. Breathe in, lengthen. Step, jump, or flow to down dog. From down dog, take your right leg for split. Move it around and enjoy the stretch through the left leg. You're gonna bring your right foot forward, come to low lunge. Pause right here, steady yourself, grounding down through both feet. If it feels safe for you, arrowhead, arms forward. Stay low. Yeah. High plank flow or straight to dog. Second side from dog, left leg to split and move it around. You bring your left foot forward, low lunge, and you stay here. And modify for your groundedness. If that works for you, arms forward, arrowhead, couple of breaths. And bring your hands down to flow or step the dog. Yeah, notice what takes you deeper in the holds. What brings your internal body into focus. One more breath. And then front of the mat, exhaling. Lengthen full, come upright. One more little riff, we're prepping for Surya B. Inhale up, exhale, hands to the heart. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold down to the floor. Step jumper, flow to dot. Right leg high, breathe in. 
Exhale, place the right foot by the thumb. Low lunge, stage one. High lunge or warrior one, stage two. Just noticing what it is to be in the shape. How's your belly, your legs, your hips? I'm gonna step or float a dog. Second side, left leg for split, split and then bring it forward. Low lunge, high lunge or warrior one, whatever serves you best. Mm -hmm. And then go ahead and step or float a dog. So you're gonna start to riff into Surya Namaskar B. And we'll see about adding a couple of elements to our Surya B that might take us a little deeper into our inner body. So you're gonna look forward as you inhale, step or jump front of the mat, exhale, lengthen, breathe in, fold, breathe out, chair pose, Utkatasana, arms wherever works for you. Steady breath. And then as you're ready, friends, let's float it down, dog. Inhale up. Exhale, fold to the floor. Inhale, lengthen. Step, jump, flow. Right leg for splits. Exhale, place the foot. Come up high, lunge. Now pause, I want you to bring your left hip forward. As you're bringing your left hip forward, hold on to the left wrist and start to side stretch. Now you're side stretching, but try to move your belly away from your right leg. That's the weird thing. Left hip forward, but move your belly also to the left. Yeah, it's like you're corkscrewing inside your body. Inhale, full stretch up. Exhale, hands down, step or flow to the second side. Left leg split, bring it forward, high lunge, arms up. Bring your right hip forward, hold your right wrist, side stretch. As you're stretching over to the left, move your belly to the right. Mm -hmm. Feel like you're twisting your right hip forward into the belly moving to the right. Mm -hmm. Inhale, full stretch up. Exhale, step or float a dog. It's okay, it's perfectly normal for this to be weird instruction for you, to feel challenging to feel. There's nothing wrong with you. Breathe in, breathe out. We're just trying to become more deeply advanced in our subtle body. And we're trying to listen. Look forward as you inhale. Step or jump, exhale. Lengthen, inhale. Fold, exhale. Chair pose. Sit down into your hips. Try and lift your belly up. Yeah. Inhale up. Exhale, fold. Step jump or float a dog. I like her split. Bring it forward, high lunge. And now we're going for a twist. Stretch your left arm forward, your right arm back. Good. Reach back with your right hand. Try and spin your navel to the left. Yep. So your right arm's reaching back as resistance for your navel to turn away from that. One more breath here. Inhale, full stretch up. Exhale, float a dot. Left leg. When you get to dog, go into the second side. T twist. Mm -hmm. Inhale, reach back with your left arm. Exhale, move your navel towards the right. So we're trying to move our stomach, our belly away from our front leg. Last breath. Inhale, full stretch. Exhale, flow. 
<sighs> Notice any way that your internal space awareness is increasing. Forward, breathe in. Step or jump, breathe out. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Chair pose. Last time through. All right, let's float a dog, inhale up, exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen and prepare. Step jumper, float a dog. Right leg split, place the foot. Inhale up, high lunge. Fold twist, left elbow outside of the right knee. Prayer hands if you can. And even as you're in this deep twist, as you exhale, try to spin your navel to the left. Yes. So keep turning your navel away from your right leg. I know it's weird. Inhale out of the twist. Exhale, flow, second side. Left leg, making your way to high lunge, and then into the full twist, elbow to the outside of the knee. And with each breath out, turn your navel to the right. Just notice if it takes you a little deeper. Breathe in, full stretch up. Breathe out. Down dog, breathe. Recenter on your spine. And adjust the body from the spine out. Right leg for a split. Bring it forward. Warrior one. Now sense the hips and try to move your belly away from your front leg. Try to keep the left hip coming forward. Mm -hmm. If you need a little help, bring your hand to your navel and just try and pull your belly to the left. Warrior two, move deeper into your hips and continue the process of trying to move your belly away from your front leg. If you need your hand to do it, bring your hand in there. Triangle pose, hand on the ground outside or on a block. Try to extend through your limbs, sensing your legs, your arms, your spine, looking towards the sky if you comfortably can, and spin your navel towards the sky, away from your right leg. Yeah. Do you feel more space this way in your body? A warrior two, reverse warrior two, flow to dog. Second side, left leg, warrior one. Settle down into your hips, try to keep the right hip going forward and move your belly towards the right. Mm -hmm. It's one of the more confusing ones for the body. Warrior two, deeper in the hips. 
Move your belly away from your left leg. Use your hand if you need to. Triangle. Move down through your limbs. Reach up through the right arm and turn your navel to the sky. Yeah, see how you're becoming more skillful with this internal adjustment. Warrior two, reverse, flow the dog. Forward as you inhale. Step or jump, front of the mat, exhale. Lengthen your spine, breathe in. Fold, breathe out. Chair pose. You're gonna take another breath in chair and then you're gonna fold forward. Nice deep Uttanasana. If you wrap your arms around your legs, three breaths. Now take hold of your strap. You're gonna roll upright to stand. You can just have your strap around your neck. Mm -hmm. And you go for tree pose. So you can stand on your right leg, bring your left leg up as high as works for you. If you can't bring it all the way up to the inner thigh, have it at the calf, it's perfectly fine. Start off with your hands on your hips. Try to square off your hips so that they feel balanced, left, right, front, back, okay? Now from your inner left groin, I want you to extend out through the inner knee. Just feel that it's stretching away. Mm -hmm. And keep breathing here. Bring your right hand to your navel center and try to adjust instinctively inside so that you can feel more balance there. Right. For example, if the leg is opening out to the right, is your stomach following the leg? And if so, you probably need to move the stomach navel area more to your right, away from the bent knee. Take your arms up to the sky, hold on to the left wrist and side stretch. Keep extending from the groin out through the inner left knee and move your navel rightward. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Might feel very different. Just notice that. We come back upright, change legs. Balance your hips, extend from the groin out to the knee. Notice if your navel goes along for the ride, pull it back to center. Right, so you let the stretch be the stretch without it recruiting too much of your core, okay? Balance that, then arms up. Holding on to the right wrist, side stretching towards the left, navel probably moving towards the left. You don't feel centered. Back upright. Great. You're going to stay standing. You're going to again bring the left knee into your chest. This is when you use your strap, loop it around the foot, extend the leg out in front of you. 
Take a couple of breaths just to find balance here. We're gonna shift the strap into our left hand. Your right hand can go to your navel. Mm -hmm. You're gonna open the leg out towards the left. And as you do that, feel what your body and the center does and try to counterbalance. Most of us are gonna need to pull the stomach over towards the right. Mm -hmm. On your next exhale, bring the leg back to center. Inhale, open the leg out. Exhale, center. Inhale, open. Yeah. A couple more times just like this. Trying to keep your balance at the core. Mm -hmm. Good, the next one goes out. Release the strap, hold two breaths. Bring the leg down to the floor, inhale, arms up. Hold on to that left wrist and side stretch. Some of your pelvis root down, down, down through the left foot. And your pelvis lift up and they open the left side body. Come back to center. Relax your arms. There we go. Great. We'll try the second side. So you can pick your strap back up again. Knee to chest. Loop it around the right foot. Extend it out in front of you. Take a couple of breaths to find balance. Once you're balanced, Hold the strap with your right hand, bring the hand, the left hand to the navel and take the leg out to the side. Notice what happens at center and try to intuitively, yeah, stay even. On your exhale, bring the leg back in. Inhale, open out. Exhale, center. Inhale, open. A few more times, try to keep neutral at the middle. Good, the next time the leg opens out, no hands. And then bring the leg down to the floor, <laughs> arms up to the sky, hold the right wrist side stretch. Great, inhale back upright, facing the front of your mat, fold down to the floor, hands on the ground or hands on blocks. So if you want to use blocks, just bring them into the outside of your feet. Go ahead and step the left leg back, pyramid pose. You're going to keep the back heel lifted. Turn the left hip forward. Move your navel away from the right leg and breathe. And just take all the time you need to adjust for stability and for length in the spine. From pyramid pose, we're gonna to start to shift the left leg further back, moving towards an even longer variation. Mm -hmm. Possibly into Hanumanasana, into the full split. Maybe you bring the left leg down at the knee and come to the back of the right heel for Ardha Hanuman, a long runner stretch or you'll just wiggle, wiggle, wiggle towards full Hanumanasana. Right, we're just taking our time to slowly work in. Try to keep the back hip coming forward and the stomach moving away from the front leg. Okay, 
rock side to side for a few moments right, so that we can really let the back of the legs get a nice opening. And then from here, I'm gonna slowly make your way back, low lunge. Stepping forward, Uttanasana, forward fold. And you'll probably notice the legs feel a little different left to right at this point. Ah. Second side, right leg back. A nice long pyramid with the back heel lifted. Taking as much time as you need for the spine to feel long. And then gradually shimmying the right leg further back. Yep, take your time moving towards either runner stretch or moving towards full Hanumanasana, whatever your hamstrings will allow today. Great, friends. A few breaths, being in it, moving with it. Especially if this is the first time you've done or practiced your Hanuman in a little while. Yeah, and then just gonna gently, gently, gently find a way out of this pose, some kind of exit strategy. Coming to forward fold at the front of the mat. And then from here, you can step jump or flow to downward facing dog pose. From down dog, bring your feet together, come into high plank pose. With your feet together, Vashistasana, right hand out at your right foot. You can modify with the left knee down or the right knee down if you'd like, or step the left foot forward, right? So there are a lot of different ways to keep you safe. If you're in Vashistasana, full form, you want to start to play, bring the left leg up for tree leg. And take your left arm up overhead. Now, can you sense as you open the left hip and leg to the sky, your belly, will you turn your belly down to the floor as the leg opens to the sky? Turn your belly to the floor, let your leg open to the sky. One more breath. Flow with tree leg, the down dog. Second side, high plank pose. Vashistasana in any variation that works for you. If you feel that you're in the full form safely, bring your right leg to tree leg. Take your right arm over your ear. Turn your chest to the sky. Turn your right hip to the sky, but try to turn your navel to the floor. Mm -hmm. Isn't that fun and weird? Right, so we're advancing our awareness and adjustment internally. You're turning your upper torso to the sky, but your lower torso, you're resisting towards the floor. Yeah, try another breath here. And then with tree leg, high plank flow to down dog. Good. <sighs> Legs together, high plank. She's just on the first side, any variation that works for you. If you want something a little spicier, bring your top leg in and this time hold the foot with your hand and send the leg to the sky for the Vashistasana two variation. 
As your leg goes to the sky, let your chest go to the side, but turn your navel down towards the floor. Yeah. Slow and steady release. Flow to down dog. Second side. Vashistasana, maybe kickstand, maybe full form, maybe tree leg, or going for full Padangushta leg. Turn your chest to the sky, turn your belly away from that towards the ground. Slow and steady release, flowing to child's pose. Good, stay in child's pose. Or if you'd like to try that series again, you can try the whole thing again. Side plank classical shapes or tree leg shape or Vashistasana two with the leg up to the sky. Or you can even try from Vashistasana two, leg up to the sky, transitioning into full Hanuman. So figure out what's best for you. Not everyone does everything in a yoga class, but everyone can do something. So what's your something? I'm going to show the full shift from Vashistasana to top leg straight and bring it slow and slow and slow into Hanuman. Mm -hmm. Second side, high plank, Vashistasana. Holding the foot, Vashistasana too. And then the slow and steady movement into Hanuman. Now you can pause this recording and go back. You can even start from the beginning to get valuable information for how you can build towards that series if you'd like. Okay. Step by step, breath by breath, getting stronger in your awareness of your internal spaces. We're all going to come to lay on our belly. Salambasana. Interlacing the hands, stretching the knuckles back, breathing. If it feels good to lift the legs, lift your legs. Lower down, forehead to the floor. Change the interlace of the hands. Come back up, full shape, Shalambhasana. If your arms and legs are lifting, you can create Dhanurasana bow by bending the legs at the knees, reaching back and holding onto your ankles or feet with your hands. Pressing legs into arms, arms into legs, working deeper into the back bend. Shalambhasana, arms free. High plank, gather your belly back. Down dog. Stay here or if you'd like a little spice, 
arm balance, ekapada kuninyasana two, left leg for split. Bring the left knee towards the left tricep, chaturanga. Straighten the leg, play with the alignments, turn your belly away from your left leg as you take flight. Dog split to dog. All right, this is just for arm balance lovers. A real quick little moment, seeing how the alignments can actually help inform our arm balance practice as well. Right knee to tricep, chaturanga, straighten the right leg, turn the belly away from the right leg as you lift up. High plank to the floor, roll over onto your back. Have your blocks nearby. Blocks outside of the hips, any height. Knees into the chest. And then take the legs straight up to the sky, 90 degrees. If ever it feels like too much pressure on your low back or low spine in this series, bend the legs at the knees instead. Take the arms out to cactus. We're gonna move the legs over to the right until they get to the block. Let them rest on the block. Knees bent or legs straight, it's up to you. As you exhale, try and turn your stomach away from the legs. And you're just holding this for a few moments. Let your shoulders set down. And so the block is at any height that allows for you to be in the twist with your shoulders evenly grounded, okay? Come back through center. Take the knees over to the left. Find the block, let them rest. Arms and cactus, shoulder heads grounded completely, or straighten the, le the legs and have them rest on the block with the legs straight. Whichever you prefer is fine. A couple of breaths, feel as you exhale the navel, and the belly turning away from the extended legs. So if your legs are to the left, which they are for me right now, your navel's turning rightward. We're gonna to start to do this side to side on our breath a few times, okay? So your inhale, come out of the twist, take the legs across, and as you exhale, the legs go all the way to the right, but your navel turns to the left. Inhale, up and out, take them across, exhale, navel moves away from the legs. A few more times on your breath. Transition on your inhale, adjust on your exhale. Transition, inhale, adjust on your exhale. Try to use the inhale to go all the way across to the second side. Exhale in it, twist. All right, so the twist feels like it's happening deeper and deeper in the body. Both sides one more time. Whatever pace is working for you. And then come back to center. Knees to chest. <sighs> yeah. Gently rock your hips left to right, holding your shins to your knees with your hands. Yeah. That's another really wonderful practice to try again and again as you're building internal awareness, right? Since this is very much a shravana driven focus today. 
most likely you are more sensitive to your inner landscape at this moment in practice than you were at the beginning. It's a great time to take advantage of that. So maybe do this little series again, moving even faster on your breath. Inhale, neutral, exhale over to one side. Inhale, neutral, exhale, second side with the knees bent or the legs straight, trying to get almost an elliptical kind of a shape happening. So as you exhale, the feet or the knees go up towards your hands or shoulder line. Inhaling, they go back to neutral on top of the hips. Exhale, they go over to the second side and the feet move up, the knees move up towards the shoulder line. Right, so like an ellipsis. And you can do that as many times as you like to build strength and to build awareness. When you are finished, you're gonna come upright to a seated position. Dandasana. So both legs can go out in front of you. <clears throat> Clearing the flesh from your sitting bones. Just gonna push the inseam of the legs down. Let your spine lift up and breathe. Now that action of rooting the inseams of your legs down is a key element for building the next pose. So you're gonna bring your right leg back and either cross the ankle to the outside of the knee, or if you can, bring the knee all the way to the outside, or rather bring the knee to stack on top of. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so if you have ankle to knee, great. If you've got knee to knee, great. Hold forward. Move the breath as deep into your back as you can. Slowly make your way upright and change legs, ankle to knee or knee to knee. Folding down. working towards the outer hip and the back of the straight leg. Gently coming upright. Both legs out in front of you. Paschimottanasana, seated forward fold.
just a few more breaths, keeping your focus inside. Whenever you feel the time is right, reemerge from the posture. I'm gonna bring your blocks with you. Lay down on your back, Supta Baddha Konasana, with the blocks underneath your knees. So soles and feet together, knees apart. Blocks at any height that allows for your legs to really rest into them. Take your arms up to the sky. You're just gonna wrap your arms around your chest, holding your opposite shoulders and just gently as you inhale, pull the shoulder blades apart, making room and then relax your upper back. And after a few cycles of breath, you can change the wrap of the arms so the opposite arm gets time on top. And then you just let your arms rest comfortably. Anywhere that feels nice for you. Moving into Shavasana from here, if you'd like to keep the Supta Baddha Konasana legs for Shavasana, by all means, please do. Taking all the time you need to work into it. And then setting time and space for your entire body just to let go any shape of Shavasana that feels good.
very gently bring your consciousness back to center. And feel the weight of your body on the floor. And give yourself time to explore with shifting your breath for your own enjoyment. I'm just going to feel free to stay just as you are. Acknowledging what you're aware of inside. If you'd like to close practice with me in a seated position, you can make your way there now. If you have more time for your Shavasana today, to stay and enjoy a longer rest. your intention inside, bring your hands to your heart. May we continue to use our yoga practice as sacred time for personal reflection. It's an opportunity to listen more openly and with greater ease to the language and messaging of our body redefining what it is to commune with ourself with love and respect. To any and all the ways in which you did this, the work today, gratitude and bow. And to the opportunities ahead to refine this deep listening and care, bow deeper still. Chant of Om, easy breath in and out. Feel free to listen or sing. Deep, deep, deep peace. Om Shanti. Namaste.